All right, Chris Emsworth has seemingly gotten a monkey off his shoulder, you know, a lot of weight off his chest in regards to Thor, in particular Thor Love and Thunder as well. So he's come out to say that he can't forgive himself for Thor Love and Thunder. He says he got caught up in the improv and the wackiness of the film, then it became a parody of himself and he didn't quite stick the landing. And in addition to that, he also commented on this work on on and with the Avengers. He said that he felt his role as Thor was very replaceable in the Avengers. He felt more like a security guard. He would read everyone else's lines and see that they got cool stuff to work with and that they were having a lot more fun, where as Thor, he just got a wig, a costume of muscles, and that's three things you can literally replace with any big butch white person for Thor, mm-hmm. I guess. So... James, I know you hate Thor, Love and Thunder. I know I hate <laughs> Thor, Love and Thunder. What are your thoughts on Chris Hemsworth finally letting the cat out of the bag? Oh, okay. Uh, let's break this one down. I can't forgive you either, Chris Hemsworth, for what you did in <laughs> Thor, Love and Thunder. Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, that movie is an absolute atrocity. I don't know how you can actually... Um, do that and be like, hmm, maybe this is a little bit corny or cringe or a bit too far or a bit too silly. Oh, am I doing any real real acting here? Like, did you ever have a scene that you did in Thor Love and Thunder where it was like, oh, this is real acting. I'm doing stuff that I'm, it's challenging me. No, you didn't. You didn't get caught up in the improv or the wackiness. You got caught up in the negative reviews and the negativity surrounding this film. <laughs> It's it's not that he wanted to take this a little bit further. I don't I don't believe him that he in terms of that, you know he got too caught up in it. I think that you know it's got a ton of negative re- reception afterwards, and that you know it just wasn't received in the way that he did. But I will you know give him the benefit of the doubt for this one. All right, the main guy is Taika Waititi, and <laughs> any chance where I can hate on Taika Waititi, I'm going to take it. So I'm going to take it right now because I, I don't like him. <laughs> um, despite the fact that I'm from New Zealand. Guys, I'm from New Zealand. I can say this. So is Nan, so he can say anything negative about Taika Waititi. We're all boys. We're all from New Zealand. It's not personal. It's just um, business. business. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, Taika Waititi is the main culprit for that um, atrocity of a film. Thor Love and Thunder is awful. Um, it com- made a complete mockery out of the character Thor. It made a complete mockery of the development that Thor had got, which is why going to what he was saying about the Avengers, I completely disagree with. Um, in terms of Avengers Infinity War, Thor is one of the most important characters to that film. And, and like he was reading everyone else's lines and they got cooler stuff to work with. Dude, you like... You worked at, what did, what did he do? He like formed a hammer from the sun or a dying star or something like that, right? I, I assume that his comments is in regards to the first two. Uh, is it in the, is it relation to the first two? I, I assume Specific. it's not confirmed. He just says the Avengers. So yeah. I'm just assuming it's the first two because those are the first two where he does sort of seem like a guy that can just be replaced. Okay, in, in that sense, yeah, but it's... We, 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 Okay, he has to specify that because if, we, if we're going to say the Avengers, we're going to say all four of them. And I can kind of see that in um, the second Thor. The first Thor, it's involving Loki, his brother. He is a direct emotional tie with the villain. So, no, he has much more to work with than, say, Hawkeye, than Black Widow. Uh, easily, starting there. Avengers 2, he kind of takes a back seat, but... You know, the, these are massive crossover movies. Someone has to take a backseat in some of these kind of films. Avengers Infinity War, he's one of the coolest entrances in any comic book movie ever. So I, I don't know where he's, where he's going with that. He's also the first Marvel character to get a fourth film. Like, the, those comments are completely unjustified. Uh, yeah, I, I completely disagree. I completely disagree with everything that he's saying here. But overall, no one can forgive you for what you did on Thor 4. And the fact that you're getting a fifth movie, um, this is your chance to make redemption. Make redemption, all right? In the character at Thor 5, I'm, I'm done with Thor. I can't do... There's been three bad Thor movies. Um, I, I loved one of them. But just, just at least redeem yourself and get out while you still can, dude. That's all I got to say for that one. 
Yeah. Yeah, if if Thor 5 is just as bad as that, where it's like that he falls into the improv and wackiness. Oh, worst, ca- know... worst character in MCU history. Easily. Yeah. Easily. <laughs> yeah. And, and then we also know that all his comments right here is just absolute bullshit as well. 100%. Which is, which is now like what? When did it come out? 22? Mm-hmm. Two years too late? Yep. You know, he probably should have addressed it. Maybe not straight away because that would mm-hmm. be on box office runs, but at least like once it left theaters, you know, just like, oh, yeah, well, I fucked up. Thank you mm-hmm. for the money. Yeah. Sort of yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I, I'm with you. I don't really buy into him saying he can't. Actually, I can. I'm like, yeah, he did a bad job and he's an idiot for even reading the script and agreeing to it and not challenging it. Yeah. Um, but hey, he can improve on it with the next one and. I mm-hmm. guess all eyes will be on him for Thor 5 to see what he can do. Hopefully Taika's not uh, directing it because he's, he's not. Here. Yeah, at least from what I've heard, Taika will not be directing it. And we are going to see if it's Thor, or, I mean, Chris Hemsworth, um, or Taika. Yeah. I, I think we already know the answer to that. <laughs> we sure do. <laughs> but, like, he's a professional actor. He's been doing this for over a decade now. How do you get caught up in the improv and wackiness? I don't know. Maybe it's like, you know, you have a really good friend that you can just like goof around with and maybe you saw that in Taika and so he just decided to bring that onto set, not realizing that it's his actual job and so he just got caught up in the mm. fun and the wackiness that it was to work with Taika and that crew. Yeah. That I just don't... forgot that he had a job. I don't know. If all I know is that if Thor 5 is bad... Chris Hemsworth will have more bad solo superhero movies than any single character. Like, it, because there's four. There'll be four bad. And the first one's, like, it's, it's okay at best, but it's still not great. It's just, there's no excuse for this. The character is all over the place. And Thor Ragnarok, I think Taika Waititi did a really, really good job. <laughs> How I'm giving praise to Taika Waititi, I must be drunk. But he, he he completely reinvented the character in a really positive way. I, I like Thor Ragnarok. I like what they did with the character. The Russo brothers came in for Infinity War and gave him a, you know, a ton of soul and made him an extremely empathetic character because Thor had lost so much throughout his time. And and then they just make him fat in the in, in game and he, they just kind of kill everything. It's just, it's just one of the weirdest that, that, characters in any kind in of franchise. Game. It was sort of the downhill moment for him, eh? Because, like, we mm-hmm. just, we saw him uh, in Infinity War and we're like, this is the Thor that we've all been wanting to to see, you know, this god, yeah. this guy that everyone actually fears because no one really feared him in the first two Avengers or any of his film, mm-hmm. uh, solo films. Um, and then that happened. And then that first, like, 10, 20 minutes, we're like, okay, cool, just walking straight up to Thanos and beheading him, you know? It's like, shit, we're going to see, like, a more cold-hearted mm-hmm. Thor and then five years later he's a fat guy playing Fortnite I mean yeah pretty much and it's not the fact that you know he, he's fat or he's given up and he just he, he has no you know compelling reason to try it's the fact that when the threat of Thanos comes back or the hope of bringing back everybody he still just stays that way and he's sort of written off as a joke as a joke for the entirety of the movie. And so if he's talking about how he's replaceable in the Avengers movies, I can see probably how he is replaceable in the end game because he just goes back to being a joke. And then he gets, he's more of a joke in Thor 5. Like it's just, oh, it's completely ridiculous. I feel, I honestly feel bad for the entire Thor character in Thor 5 on a positive note for the character. He deserves it. Yeah. We'll have to wait and see. Hopefully we get better details and a better director and, Better everything for Thor 5. <laughs> Send him off on a high note. You guys there, can you forgive Chris Hemsworth for the atrocity that is Thor Love and Thunder? James did a big shake of his head no. I will do a little one to make up for it. <laughs> um, and I'm sure you guys will hit on the comments and let us know. If you think we're idiots, then we'll tell you you're an idiot back and to go watch that, those, that film again. Um, and hopefully that will change your mind. If you're a Taika Waititi fan, don't even bother commenting. Just unsubscribe, please. <laughs> you don't want you here. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> All right.